important that you don't create a perverse incentive. One of the things that I think that is uh, a, a strong point in, in the U.S. system is that it is a public-private partnership. You, you have people coming together for all the right reasons because they want to develop standards that, are, that, that meet public goods. If suddenly you, you create a situation where you draw that line where if you cross over and you become incorporated, you lose your copyright, uh, that's going to, to, to change around uh, how people look at these issues. And, and, and they're going to be, suddenly you're going to find people backing off. You're not going to have, again, the, I think the, 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 the comity uh, and the partnership that we have now and that, that I think works very well. So, I, again, I think there's things that, that can be done here to address a lot of the issues that have been raised on, on things like transparency. But to draw lines in the dust like that about a system that, again, is organic, it's grown over, over time, what's worked has been, has been kept, what hasn't worked has, has, has fallen away. But then suddenly to say there's now this, this, this complete change once you have an incorporation, I think I couldn't imagine all the number of, of, of uh, perverse incentives that would be caused by it. But there'd be, there'd be many, and I think there'd, be, there'd also be a lot of unintended consequences that everybody here would agree would, would, not, be, would not be good. Thank you very much. Anybody else? If I could just, um, so I had explained that many of the standards that are referenced actually fund a lot of the other activities at ASTM. I do want to point out, though, that there, there's been a perception that I've seen perpetuated that standards development organizations lobby to have their standards incorporated by reference. And uh, we've got 12,000 standards. We work with 140 different committees. Uh, that serve 90 different industries. And if I think about my six or seven years working for ASTM, it's pretty rare that I can think of where a committee has actually approved uh, a statement that they want to see our standard incorporated by reference in a regulation. Uh, typically, that, that just doesn't happen. That's not usually why standards developers come together to, to develop standards. Uh, so I just wanted to add that, that that's, that's really a perception that's been out there that I just think really isn't true in our experience at ASTM. Thank you. Bruce? I'd just like to say that one of, and this is an issue that we raised in our uh, comment letter to OMB, um, and just uh, as we go forward with this debate on how uh, these standard development organizations should be funded, one of the concerns is that if you alter the funding mechanism, we have to be careful that we, we don't adopt a system that actually further disadvantages small business. Uh, for example, if you have these various pay-for-play type uh, systems where you have to uh, pay, a, pay more money to, to participate, that could actually make it more difficult for small businesses to participate, and I don't think that would be a desirable outcome. Thank you. We have someone who would like